October 15th. The reading is entitled, Garment Changed. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Matthew 22, verses 11 and 12. Discard your citizen's dress, and put on the wedding garment which Christ has prepared. Then you can sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. God welcomes all who come to him just as they are, not building themselves up in self-righteousness, not seeking to justify self, not claiming merits for what they call good actions, not priding themselves on their supposed knowledge. While you have been walking and working in meekness and lowliness of heart, a work has been done for you, a work that only God could do. It is God who works in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. That good pleasure is to see you abiding in Christ, resting in his love. Let not anything rub your soul of peace, of restfulness, of the assurance that you are accepted just now. Claim every promise. All are yours if you will comply with the prescribed terms. Entire self-surrender and acceptance of Christ's ways is the secret of perfect rest in his love. The abiding rest. Who has it? That rest is found when all self-justification, all reasoning from a selfish standpoint, is put away. Entire self-surrender and acceptance of his ways is the secret of perfect rest in his love. We must learn his meekness and lowliness before we experience the fulfillment of the promise, He shall find rest unto your souls. Matthew 11:29. It is by learning the habits of Christ that self becomes transformed, by taking his yoke and then submitting to learn. Giving up the life to Christ means much more than many suppose. God calls for an entire surrender. We cannot receive the Holy Spirit until we break every yoke that binds us to our objectionable traits of character. These are the great hindrances to wearing Christ's yoke and learning of him. There is no one who has not much to learn. All must be trained by Christ. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.